Alright guys, what's up? A lot of people have been asking what's up with these red flashing boxes now in 2.1. Now this only applies if you had the SL3 or the Rain 68 mixer or also the TTM 57 mixer, but if you have the 57 you're probably already familiar with these. Uh, you won't have these boxes if you had the SL1. Now what is the point of these boxes? Well, in 2.1 they've sort of implemented keyboard shortcuts for the third auxiliary deck if you have the SL3. And the red boxes signify which decks you currently have keyboard shortcut control for. Now to switch between the first and second deck to the third deck, uh, you're going to press your tilde key for your tilde key. Uh, that is on a US keyboard. It'll be to the left of your number one key or below your escape key on most keyboards, uh, and especially Macs since all the keyboards are the same. But uh, So you use your tilde key to switch between the first and second deck and the third deck's keyboard shortcuts. Now, however, a lot of people don't like these red flashing boxes. You know, it's kind of annoying. So, if you want to disable them, you need to go into the Setup menu and on the Plugins tab, the SL3 Auxiliary Deck, you're going to need to disable it. So, obviously, this means you can't get the three deck control. But uh, you know, if you're only playing with two decks, I don't think that's going to be a problem. If you do want the third auxiliary deck, though, uh, unfortunately, there's no way to get rid of the red flashing boxes right now at least in this version. Maybe Serato will change that in an upcoming version. However, there is this option right here, Flashing Deck Indicator. You can uncheck that. We'll still have the red boxes, but they won't be flashing and blinking. Those will be a solid red box. And so, you know, might be slight, slightly less annoying for you, so they're not blinking and flashing all over the place. But, Or what you could do is just hit your tilde key, and that will get rid of the boxes. In the two-deck view mode, uh, you're still going to... The control is still going to be on the third deck, as you can see right here. Uh, so if you're going to, you know, use your keyboard shortcuts, you know, you're going to, if you hit like control and left to try and load to the left deck, it's not going to work uh, because it's going to load it up to the third deck down here on this side. So, uh, you know, this is just another thing you could do. So you're going to have to, you know, if you want to use the left deck's keyboard shortcuts uh, with the third deck, but you don't want the red boxes, you're going to have to toggle them back and forth. Uh, like this, so you know, if you try to load a track, control plus uh, left, you know, it's going to load to the third deck and not the first left deck. So you have to tilde back to it, and then you can load it up like that and just get rid of it, like so. Uh, but anyway, so there you go. That is what's up with these red flashing boxes in Scratch Live 2.1. Again, this only applies if you have the SL3, the Range 68, or 57 mixers, and uh, this doesn't apply if you have the SL1. You won't see these boxes. So there you go.